Well, not to a story you'll see only on four. The Border Patrol is asking for the public's help to combat a new and dangerous method undocumented immigrants are using to get smuggled past checkpoints undetected. Our Ashley Custer is in the Falfurious with the story you'll see only on Action 4 News. The checkpoint is one of the busiest checkpoints in the country with regard to seizures and apprehensions. Uh, in addition to that, that we uh, inspect more than uh, 8,000 vehicles per day. So far this year, the Border Patrol has apprehended over 7,000 undocumented immigrants at this checkpoint alone. And now agents are seeing more of these immigrants take bold and dangerous measures to travel undetected through these checkpoints. We don't want anybody to die or get hurt or get seriously injured. Over the last couple of days, there were five incidents where agents found people stashed away in the small upper airflow compartment of big rig trucks. Tuesday on the 31st, we had a group of, of seven illegal immigrants, which is that's quite a few illegal immigrants to be hiding in the back of some of these air dams. Uh, we've seen another four cases since then here at this checkpoint. Border Patrol RGV sector spokesperson Omar Zamora says they're starting to average two or three of these cases every day. To combat the problem, the agency specifically has these cameras placed several feet off the ground to help detect any illegal activity. And Zamora says he believes the majority of immigrants are camped out at area truck stops, waiting for an unsuspecting truck driver. In many cases, they, they, they may not know anything about it, but uh, what they can do, what we're asking them to do, is to check. It'll, it'll only take a couple minutes. Border Patrol and Brooks County Sheriff's Office are requesting that truck drivers check those airflow vents for people hiding inside because they say whether or not the driver is aware that someone may be up there, they will get sighted. When I got to the checkpoint, uh, they told me I had two people up there and I didn't know about it. I was so shocked. I mean, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. This truck driver, who we will call Sam, did not want to show his face because even though this happened a couple months ago, he now has a smear on his record. Now I go to Mexico to, with my passport and they they take me and they put me there like I'm, you know, I'm a criminal or something. They be checking my record and stuff. And if the driver's in on it, yes, lock him up. Do what you got to do. But if he has no intention of doing anything like that, I can't see citing him for it. In Falfidius, Ashley Custer, Action 4 News. Well, Border Patrol is also asking for the public to report any suspicious activity they may see to 1-800-BE-ALERT. Customs and Border Patrol officials continue to see a rise in traffic on border bridges during Semana Santa or Holy Week. Eddie Bettis with Customs says more officers have been assigned to bridges to reduce wait times. He says during holidays, many attempt to bring illegal food and plants across the border. There's a lot of different items. The, the, our recommendation is visit our page, cbp.gov, to see if something is allowed or not, or stop by one of our border crossings and ask the officers if the item is allowed before you go spend your money. That is urging those traveling in or out of the country to declare all foreign items and have their documents in hand when crossing.